Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it is Nate, and today I'm going to be showing you some of the different console commands in Fallout 4. Now before we get started, if you guys have never used the console command window, what you're going to do is you're going to press the tilde key, which is in the top left corner of your keyboard, and that will bring up the console command window. Now that you've got your console command window open, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by getting ourselves some extra caps. Now the console command for this is player.addItem space f space and then you're going to type in however many caps you want. I can only get my game to work with about 50,000 caps um, and you can just do this as many times as you want. Okay the next console command we're going to be working with is one that will give us um, some more bobby pins so we can pick locks. So the console command for this is player.addItem space a space and then the desired amount of bobby pins that you want. And moving on to our next console command, this one's going to allow us to increase our player level. And the code for this one is player.setLevel space, and you're going to type the level that you want your character to be. Alright guys, this next console command is going to allow us to increase or decrease our carry weight. And this command is player.modAV space carry weight space and then from here you're either going to add weight which can be a thousand two thousand however much weight you want to add to your carrying capacity or you can select a negative value so let's say negative 330 and that will take away from your carry weight Moving on to our next command, this one's going to allow us to increase the special stats individually. So this command is going to be player.modAV, and then you're just going to type out whichever special stat you want to increase, um, and then you're going to type the number of points that you want to add on to what you already have. Alright guys, our next console command, we're going to be increasing our health, and to do this we're going to type player.modAV space health space and you're going to type the amount of health that you want your character to have. Keep in mind that you can also add a negative value to remove some of the health that you added. The next console command we're going to be using is probably the most useful console command in my opinion and it's really simple to type in. All you're going to do is type TGM and then hit enter and that's going to activate god mode and what this does is it um, allows you to not take any hit point damage. It's going to give you infinite um, AP and you're also not going to use any ammunition. Alright, next up I'm going to be showcasing three different commands. The first one is going to be kill. Now what you're going to do here is you're going to bring up the command prompt window and you're going to select an enemy that you want to kill and you're just going to type kill. And then when you leave the command prompt window, he will die. The next command is the resurrect command, and you're pretty much just going to do the opposite of what you just did. You're going to bring up the command prompt window, click on the guy, and you're going to type resurrect. Then the next console command we're going to use is the kill all command, and what this does is it kills all of the NPCs in the area, um, minus the ones that obviously cannot be killed like your companions and uh, people who are essential to quest lines. Alright guys, our next console command is going to allow us to unlock every location on the map. And to do this, what you're going to do is you're going to type TMM space 1 and then hit enter. If you want to remove all map markers, what you're going to do is type TMM space 0 and that will remove all map markers. The next console command we're going to do is the free cam. And this is going to allow you to get those cinematic shots for whenever you're making uh, cool YouTube videos or gameplays or something. And you're just going to type TFC for this one. You can also type TFC space 1 to stop time, and that will also keep your character from moving around whenever you're uh, moving in the free cam. Our next console command is going to allow us to set the time in game. Just keep in mind that this does use military time. Now moving on to the console command, it's going to be set space game hour space two space and then here you're going to type in the time that you want 
and I want 7 p.m. so I'm going to type 1900 and that's going to set it to 7 p.m. Alright, our next console command is actually kind of fun to play around with. What you're going to do for this one is you're going to press the utility key, open up your console command window, and then you're just going to click on an item, and then you're going to type set scale space, and then I think you can select a value from 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, 1 being the lowest, and this will increase the size of the item or decrease the size of the item. You can also do this with yourself and pretty much just make yourself a giant. Um, just keep in mind that fall damage remains the same, so you might want to activate god mode for this. And our next console command is going to allow us to unlock safes, doors, and terminals as well. So what you're going to do for this one is you're going to open the console command window, click on the item that you want to unlock, and then you're just simply going to type unlock and then hit enter. Our next console command is going to allow us to jump super high and in order to do this we're going to type set gs space f jump height min and then you're going to select the value that you want probably a thousand to ten thousand just keep in mind that fall damage remains the same so you may want to activate god mode before you do this all right next up we're going to be toggling ai processing and ai combat processing on and off and in order to do this, what you're going to do is you're going to type TAI and then hit enter. Once you do this, you will see that all of the NPCs in the game will just stop moving. If you type TAI in again, all of the NPCs will then start pathing to their objectives again. If you want enemies to stop attacking you, all you have to do is type TCAI and this will cause all of the NPCs in the game to stop all of their combat processing. So they'll still be hostile, but they won't be able to attack you. And then to turn that off, you're just going to type TCAI in again, and that will toggle it off. Our next console command is going to take us to the dev room. This is where they test out a lot of the aspects of the game. And in order to get there, what you're going to do is you're going to type in COC space QA smoke, and then hit enter. Getting out of this dev room is a little more complicated. What you're going to do is type COW space Commonwealth space one space one and this is going to send you back to the Commonwealth. And that's it for today's video guys. If you did enjoy it please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.